Mary, thanks so much. A troubling trend now in Southeast Texas. Just this month, first responders dealt with three hazmat emergencies from a flash fire explosion April 8th over in Nederland to a tanker truck spill April 13th in Vider. The third happened just yesterday here in Beaumont when a valve leaked at Trimac Transportation. 12 News reporter Kayla Chote spoke with the chief of Beaumont Fire Rescue and Kayla. They say their special equipment to handle these dangerous hazmat scenes. Hazmat 68 is the go-to truck for a firefighter called to a hazmat spill. All the equipment inside, life-saving. So our different suits. Firefighters choose between four different hazmat suits with varying coverage levels. Before they go inside a scene, they first slow down and use their senses to observe the situation. What is it? How does it react? What type of clothing do we need? What type of respiratory protection do we need? How long can we be inside the atmosphere safely with our PPE? So it, it's pretty intense and it's pretty in-depth. Hazmat training happens several times a year. Once on scene of a contamination, firefighters refer back to their training. Plugging patching is, is basically stopping the product where it's at. Uh, damming and diking is, is holding the product back or letting it flow a certain direction. Say overpack is, is taking the product, something that's leaking, and put it in some, some uh, container that's safe so we can dispose of it. Hazmat 68 keeps pads and kitty litter-like substance on hand to help absorb hydrocarbon. The truck also has a built-in operation center where first responders can go on their device and research hazardous materials. The truck was used yesterday when a tank trailer valve started leaking at Trimac Transportations in Beaumont. We rolled in with the operation side, specifically hazmat, uh, set up an entry team and a backup team, and we went inside in protective suits and isolated the valves to basically keep that product contained where it was supposed to be. If you are ever in an accident and you suspect a hazardous leak, you may think to call 911 first. Firefighters say to get away first, then call for help. In Beaumont, Kayla Chote, 12 News.